y'all welcome back to my channel today I'm doing something a little different this is not wax today I'm gonna to be doing a quick review on a couple of scrubs that I've just finished um, they're both from the bathing garden so I will link Shannon down below if you join her Facebook page now she has just done a restock on October 9th I believe so you still have time to place an order for wax or these awesome scrubs that she offers um, this is my third scrub. These two, because I used something before and I did a small review on it. These are, you know, almost full size. This is a full size, I believe. This is like a 10 ounce. This is like a 4 ounce because this I ordered. I wasn't sure how I would like her stuff. And then I ordered a full size when I realized they were the bomb. But anyway, I finished both of them. The first one on the top, the smaller one, is in Sleepy. And that is her pink peppermint blend. And it is so good because it has vanilla behind it never had anything like this and um, she did not restock this scrub the last restock but she did restock the wax so I bought a couple clamshells because it is really good if you like pink peppermint pick that up because it is the best one that I have ever smelled the one on the bottom is marshmallow layered pink sugar and um, that one was really really good uh, you know it smells like pink sugar marshmallow so but anyway I've had nothing but awesome results with these um, scrubs I mean, obviously, we use scrubs to exfoliate a little bit, something a little different. You know, if you get sick of shower gel or soap, you can always use a scrub. I have recently just gotten out of using showers, shower gels, and I've been, you know, predominantly using scrubs in the shower. So I'm going through several different kinds just to see which ones I like the best. Um, and, you know, compare and contrast what I think. But anyway, I'm going to focus on these two that you see in front of me. Um, and I pull this label off. I don't know. I redid this video because the last one I didn't like as much. So I was playing around with the label and now it looks like garbage. Um, but this actually comes really nice. I just pulled this off. So just so you all know. Um, as far as exfoliation, I would put bathing garden scrubs um, in the middle. Um, they're not super, super rough. Like, you could use them every day. I feel like they're usable every day, and I do use them every day, and I use them on my face, and I have no trouble whatsoever. I, I imagine if you have super sensitive skin, that might not be a good idea, but um, I don't. So, um, at least I think, I used to think I did, but maybe I don't. I don't know. Or maybe it just doesn't really, you know, it's not, it's not harsh enough to really do anything to your uh, face. I don't know. But they're not harsh. Um, they go on really smooth. There's no chunks or anything like that. And I've had a couple. I've had some chunks in them. It's really weird. I don't know. But these ones didn't. Um, they went on smooth and they were super clean rinsing. But they were not drying. Which is a huge plus for me. Because I have super dry skin. So I really, really liked that part. Because like I rinsed it off and got out of the shower and dried. And did not feel like, you know... Like I was an alligator or something where I've had that experience with different types of scrubs in the past. Um, so these are not drying. Um, and they don't, they don't leave like an oily residue or anything. They just, it, your skin just feels nice. So, um, and as far as scent, I cannot rave enough about how long it lasts. Um, this is by far the only scrub that I can actually still smell the scent um, hours after using it. I'll get out of the shower and get dressed, whatever, and go about my day, and I can still smell it. Um, so I really like that because during the week, I'm not a big fragrance user just because of where I work and it's close quarters. And um, they have some issue with people wearing perfume where you produce food, even though it's on your skin. I don't understand. But um, so I don't usually use perfume during the week, but I do use it on the weekends and when I'm going out during special occasions. Um, but when I'm not using perfume, I like to have a little bit of scent, um, and these scrubs are really good for that. Both of them really lasted uh, quite a while, um, and the sample that I got in rock candy and chocolate, like before, white chocolate, it lasted a really long time on my skin as well, so that's a big plus. So definitely not harsh, and definitely long-lasting scent. Um, those are two big pluses, um, and they're not drying. So I don't have anything really bad to say. Um, the only thing is you can't get what you want when you want it, um, but everybody knows that with the bathing garden, and that's really not a big deal. And the only other thing that I've said that I, that I, not that like it was a big deal, this one was layered. And it says on the label, layered, you know, so I knew that going into it, um, but it was a little more irritating um, because I actually opened the sucker up and just ran my hand through it and I had scrub everywhere because I did not want to pull from the bottom and top. I wanted it all mixed. 
so I kind of mixed it myself. It wasn't a big deal, but if I was going to have to say something, you know, this is an honest review. So, yeah, I didn't like it mixing it by myself, but obviously it's layered, so I'm not asking anybody to do it for me. Um, but I guess I just wasn't paying attention whenever she listed this, because I just thought it was marshmallow pink sugar, but then it says layered on there, so obviously I was wrong. Um, the top part of this one was like a fluffy, fluffy scrub, and then the bottom was more like a typical scrub. So that was kind of interesting. There's two textures in there. Yeah. But anyway, nothing bad to say. Um, I'm pretty much done. You know, if you get a chance, check it out. I will link her below. Um, or check out my other baiting garden videos that I've done in the past. Um, and they, the links will be there to her Facebook group. She primarily now only um, takes orders through Facebook. I haven't seen anything on her Etsy. So, yeah, definitely check her out on Facebook. Just type in the Bait and Garden and um, go to the closed group and then somebody will add you and then you're good to go because she always lists her restocks there and gives you a certain amount of time to order. So it's really, really cool. Very convenient. Everybody gets what they want. It works out. Um, so, yeah, check her out. Her stuff is really good. If you haven't used her scrubs, you know, order one just to see what you think. Um, and I really, really, really recommend um, these two scents and plus probably any scent that you might like. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm done. I hope you all have a good night, day, morning, wherever, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate the comments and the likes and the, you know, subs. I do. I really appreciate it. And yeah, so if you have any comments, leave me a note and I'll get back to you. And until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Bye.